and it's Hoya time. Today I will plant these cuttings of Hoya sigillatis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, so I will put them here in the corner and I will plant her in the, this basic nursery pot just because they are still cuttings, so I want to see if this will work, if she will grow and if she will be okay and why to put her in some beautiful pot until I know how it will go, so yeah. I will mix basic potting mix, bunch of perlite because I want to be sure that I won't overwater her, although I heard that this Hoya can stand to be on a wet side of the soil, so yeah, I heard that but I won't risk it because all of my other Hoyas are like all the succulents, they like to be dried out completely before watering, so I will try and do the same with this one too. And I will mix a little bit of river sand in this also just to be sure I'm playing it safe because this Hoya is something new for me and we will see in a time if she will like it or not and actually this is my I think 8th variety of Hoya no, this is 7th and after that one I got few cuttings of Hoya Corticiae so yeah, now I have 8 I think I really need to make some Hoya videos, but we will see. I will do it in a time if these two grow, so I will wait until then so that I can have them all eight here. And I think this will be enough. It's actually too big, this planter is too big for these two cuttings, but I don't have anything smaller because I used all of my small nursery pots for other cuttings. These days I'm getting so much cuttings that, yeah, I'm out of pots. And we will see how this will go, I think I will put her by the west facing window just to give her enough light or maybe east i'm not sure still but i will see how she will react because she likes bright light then she gets sun stress and beautiful purplish color and now it's just green with splash and these splashy parts gets purplish red of a kind so yeah that's the goal and for that to happen she needs a lot of light so I will try and provide that and let me see how I will show these roots she gave me some awkward roots that goes upward that's really strange, but yeah, we will see. I will try and move them down to get some soil on them. <laughs> some potting mix. And we will see. For my Cortesia, I am still waiting for those cuttings to give me some roots and then I will plant them also and we will see then it's a waiting game but I guess my Hoya collection is growing I wasn't planned there but I get new cuttings now and then and I can't refuse 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess I will have a bunch of foils in no time. I don't mind it, I like foils. Foils are so easy to grow that it's really something that anyone can do, I think. I never had problems with any of my foils, so that's maybe just <laughs> my experience, but we will see. And here it is, little cutie, adorable, I like this, looks like little butterflies, really adorable, hope you like this. Thank you so much for being here with me and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.